You're watching Krim 2 Morning News. Welcome back, everyone. We have moved into the kitchen this morning to talk about a fun event happening this weekend. It's going to be the second annual Crave Northwest happening in Spokane Valley, and we have Chef Travis Twite with us this morning representing Crave. Welcome. Thanks for getting up early. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having <laughs> me. Sure. Well, first of all, let's talk about what you brought here. Uh, today I got a, a grilled peaches and prosciutto with uh, whole milk ricotta, smoked salt, and uh, balsamic. And this is the plate that I'm going to do for the second day of Crave on the fire and smoke event. Okay, fire and smoke. I think I can guess what that's about, but what is that about? Uh, it's about grilled food. It's about, uh, you know, smoky flavors. And uh, it's, I actually said it's the second day, but it's the third day. Uh, the first day is seafood. The second day is, or the second day is world food. And the third day is the fire and smoke. So, uh, yeah, that's a little, little, little bit for everybody. A little bit for everybody, yes. Well, I guess let's talk about this event overall because it's fairly new still to our region. So people maybe aren't quite sure what it's all about. But this is a way where you can get out and taste a lot of different food from a lot of different chefs, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's definitely different than pig out in the sense that it's a little more culinarily driven. Uh, a lot more specialty plates going on. You know, a lot of chefs kind of come together and get to get to really kind of put out what they what they might normally cook. So it's it's a great way for people to pay a little bit of money, get to have a lot of good food, a lot of good drinks, and it's just it's just an amazing event. I went last year. It was very fun. Yeah, yeah. ate a lot of food. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> and there are also some demonstrations even happening at certain points, right? Yeah, and they they have you know they bring in chefs who are you know not from the area, and it's it's just a great way to be able to showcase like kind of what we do on a day to day basis and stuff like that. So. Well, what what you do on a day to day basis is to make wonderful food like yes. this. So how would you put this together if we were going to try to attempt something like this at home? Oh, so this is just uh, some grilled peaches that I just I just took the pit out of and uh, just grilled them. So I'm going to tear up some prosciutto and put it in there with it. I oh, got see, already some. I was confused. I thought you were wrapping the peach in the no, prosciutto. No, you could do that. You could wrap it and grill it. That'd be really good. But I'm just kind of mix it in there. With some olive oil. And I got some smoked salt right here. Do you smoke the salt or did you buy it? That no, way? I bought that. You can you can buy that uh, th at the steam plant, I think. The kitchen engine. We'll just kind of plate it on the plate. Now, as you're doing that, and you're putting, you know, what's this ricotta that yeah, you're putting? Yeah, this on? is this is some uh, whole milk ricotta. Or if we were Italian, we'd say ricotta. Yeah, or if you're Giada De Laurentiis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she talks like that. And see, you did the fancy spoon trick too yeah. to make it all look all pretty. It's called a quenelle. It's just kind of a little spoon trick. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll call it, the spoon trick. And then you've got some balsamic yeah, there. Yeah, balsamic reduction here. And then we'll just kind of garnish the top of the cheese with some chive, add a little green. So. That looks beautiful. It's, yeah, it's very simple, but it's very delicious, very summery. So that's kind of why I selected this plate for um, what I'm going to do at the event. We'll let people know where this is quickly and how they can get tickets. Uh, you can get tickets online at CraveNW.com. And uh, you can also buy tickets at the event if you don't want to do that. And um, the venue is actually at uh, Miriwu Park mm -hmm. uh, by the Spokane Valley Mall. Um, they got a big open area and everybody sets up tents there. So, I mean, even if you're by the mall, you couldn't miss it. It's, it's huge. So. All right. Well, this weekend, we will see you there with more beautiful food like that. Thank you so much for getting up early with us. We yeah, thank you. It. it was fun. All right. We'll be right back with more Crim 2 Morning News. Time now coming up on 628.